country on the northern coast of South America with diverse natural attractions. Its population was estimated at 29 million in 2022. Venezuelan Bolivar is the official currency of Venezuela. The capital and largest urban agglomeration is the city of Caracas. The economy of Venezuela is based primarily on petroleum, making the country the 25th largest producer of oil in the world. Venezuela also manufactures and exports industry products such as agricultural products and basic manufactures. However, Venezuela's main import goods are electronics, chemical products, foods and so on. A 50,000 Bolivar note, that was Venezuela's central bank's most recent attempt to curb the galloping devaluation of money and shortage of cash. It has helped little. Amid international sanctions against the socialist Maduro government, the value of the Bolivar continued to plummet, leaving people desperate for hard currency. Dollars are accepted just about everywhere in Caracas, even at this market. This trader doesn't want to be filmed. At first, it looks like the eggs are being paid for with the Bolivar, the national currency. But it turns out to be US dollars. There's more to this trend than just the collapse of Venezuela's currency, says economist Ronald Balza. Overall, this graph highlights the evidence that the exchange rate of Venezuela in 2010 remained unchanged until 2016 and dramatic increase in 2017. Then, it's rapidly dropped to 2021 and slowly decreased in year 2022. First and foremost is GDP. According to Zaldwendo 2006, all prices and other commodity prices are a main source of exchange rate fluctuation because higher oil prices lead to the higher wages in the oil sector and increases in government spending, both of which result in higher prices causing the Venezuelan economy to shape. Venezuela's over dependence on oil caused the economy to suffer from the Dutch disease around the 2008. The Dutch disease occurs when the production of natural resources such as oil and gas causes exchange rates to rise and other industry in the country to lose competitiveness. According to Aaron O'Neill, Venezuela's expected GDP per capita dropped in 2019 and the country's GDP has been on a continuous downswing for about a decade now, reducing the size of its economy and thus affecting the exchange rate. Next, inflation. Venezuela entered hyperinflation at the end of 2017, preceded by several years of large budget deficits and declining oil revenues which caused state-run oil companies to go bankrupt and last hit over 50% monthly inflation in January 2021. Hyperinflations are typically preceded by large increases in the money supply used to finance government deficit and beside that, it happened in Venezuela because of the excess printing of the Venezuela Bolivar. The excess circulation of the Venezuela Bolivar to cause its value to decrease. Unconditionally, given the high levels of inflation and sharp depreciations of the Bolivar, the resulting real interest rates are undoubtedly negative. Regarding to the really 2020, it is due to the sum effect of relying too heavily on imports for basic goods depending on oil as its main export, inefficient government industry and governmental corruption. Between November 2017 and March 2021, the portfolio of loans to the private sector fell by more than 87% in real terms due to combined effects of hyperinflation and a sharp contraction in domestic aggregate demand. Poverty is another factor that affects the exchange rates of Bolivar against the US dollar. The latest data given by the 2019 until 2020 National Survey on Living Condition indicates that 96% of the Venezuelan population is live under the poverty line. As Venezuela Bolivar for 70% against the US dollar, leaving minimum monthly pensions and wages at around 9.2 US dollar. Among the factors contributing to such dramatic poverty includes fuel shortage, COVID-19 and not enough job opportunities. Firstly, as they explained just now, there are three factors that influence exchange rate of Venezuela Bolivar, which are inflation rate, real GDP growth, and poverty rate. So, based on descriptive analysis, here we can see each variable of data represent the TSR of data from 2010 until 2022. As a result, for mean standard revision and maximum analysis, inflation recorded the highest value for each analysis, while for minimum, poverty rate set the highest rate compared to inflation rate and GDP growth. Next, we move to regression analysis, which is this analysis is statistical method used for the estimation of relationship between exchange rate of Venezuela and the factor that affect their currency. From R square is 0.6904, it indicates data can explain 69.04% for the whole model of data. 
required for ANOVA analysis, the significant value recorded 0.0114, which means the value is less than 0.05. It means there are significant difference between inflation rate, GDP growth, and poverty rate. That is core efficient analysis. From the result here, we can identify which of the factors more influence on the exchange rate of Venezuela. As we can see the p-value here, only real GDP growth has p-value is less than significant level and this variable is a factor that most influence exchange rate of Venezuela Bolivar. And less is correlation. As a result here, real GDP growth has a negative correlation between inflation and poverty rate, which means as increase in real GDP growth, inflation and poverty rate will be decreased. In general, even though Venezuela reformed three currency within 30 years from 2008 until 2021, we can see this did not lead to any improvement. Even in 2016, the country faced a hyperinflation crisis which led to currency instability. Meanwhile, from the data analysis, we can conclude that real GDP growth is the factor that most influenced the exchange rates of the Venezuela Bolivar. However, from the whole of this study, inflation had a more significant impact on the Bolivar because this country already passed three years cumulative inflation rate above 100%.